Uh oh, we got another inspector. <laughs> How'd they turn out, Jason? They came out good. Good. Yeah, these are nice. And you can sit on them. <laughs> <laughs> They're tall enough to be set on. Multi-purpose everything around here, yeah, Jason. That's great. Yeah, these are these are gonna last for sure. About the greenhouse, ventilations are coming between 10 and 2. Yep. Come on, come on. So to keep you busy till then. Okay, so we have all this. It's all extra? That's all extra, so we thought we'd build tables out of those. Okay. For our greenhouse. Yep. You got a, you got measuring tape on you? So, we're gonna do a table. This is where you can start. You don't need her input on this. You could do a table, I'd say, to the height of this, right? Wouldn't you say that would be good? I guess you could go on top of that, huh? Yeah, yeah. you can use part of it maybe. Yeah, right here. Unless you want it separate. Here you can't. Right. Oh yeah. You might want to move it around. That's true. So, I could do it separate. Yeah, do it separate just direction. in case we don't end up lacking this. Yeah. And then, so to go all the way across and then let's get our seed trays and see how wide it needs to be. As wide as they get right here, so. Like yeah, it's gonna be too wide to go that way. That'd be like 44 inches. That's gonna be too far. There's no way. Nobody would be even able to reach no. that. Okay, so let's see how many we can fit this way. So you're li so you're eight and a half. So let's say nine inches, 18 inches. Still reaching easy. So maybe 27 inches. Yeah, let's do. 27 inches, huh? That'd be max, yeah. Full length across, and then she's gonna have you put tables this way too, but she wants to not go all the way to the end. She'll have to come and talk to you about that in a little bit. A lot of distractions this morning. All I wanna be doing is cutting logs for these culture raised beds. Papa, What's the matter? Open my in the water okay. I want. <laughs> One less problem. We went down there and measured with Jason, but I gotta make sure it's a beautiful one because we couldn't go too wide like we had hoped because that's just too crazy. 44 inches. I can't even reach that. Okay, so we tried to do it too wide like that, right? Uh -huh. That's like 44, it's crazy. Oh. It says you could never reach that. Okay? That's too... Yes. How long are they? They're pretty wide, I guess. Much wider than we thought. They're like 22 inches. They're 22 inches with some space. So we thought if you go three this way, mm -hmm. That's fine. it's much better. It's 27. Okay. Try that. Papa, hey, what do you need now? Name on me. Too blessed to stress. No, no one's feeling my Here you go. Thank okay. you, Papa. Jason. Yeah. 30 inches wide. Got it? 31. Yep. Okay. The problem we're wanting to tackle today is filling these raised beds. We're doing Hugo Culture style raised beds. Went into the woods the other day and got a load, a tractor load, and it, this is all it did, unfortunately. And it took all the morning project to do it. All our morning project time. And now our, our morning project time has been cut even more, more today. We got like 40 minutes. But, we don't have to go as far for the wood. I passed by, I passed right by the burn pile with plenty of logs in it. Plus they're charred, so maybe that's a little bit of an added benefit. Let's just double check this. Oh yeah. I think we could do it with all this. Pretty sure that's enough. Yes. So I'm gonna get you water in our trees, is that okay? It has not rained barely. Every every week if it doesn't rain, we have to water our trees and this is about, this is the time we planted them. Hopefully the line isn't frozen. It's all frozen up. Wow. Yeah look, there's ice in there. Well, you're lucky for a moment, Josiah. You can't really water right now. Unfortunately, I have to sharpen, but you know, sharpen it takes time. I, I hate to take time to do it, but it's like 80% of the work, a sharp blade. Got 
got our chaps on, got the chainsaw sharpened. You know, we only got 20 minutes left, but I should look at it like I've been chainsawing for 30 minutes, even though 10 of it was sharpening the saw. Forgot to put gas in it. All right, not cool. We got up here and it puttered out. That's our problem. What? Shoot. What? I put bar and chain oil in that. I know. I put it in the wrong thing. No, bar and chain oil is in there. That's I what bar I did. And chain oil and gas. Goodness. I hope I didn't ruin the chainsaw. I'm gonna have to text my mechanic. Uh, I just got a text back from my mechanic. He's gonna come help me this afternoon. Thanks, we just uh, bogged down the plug. And there's some other things that need to be done on it too, so. Hopefully it's going good down here, buddy. Yeah, going good. I think, good. We, I think we can make it happen. What do you think about doing, cause you got the top. What about like maybe, see if we have enough wood to make like a shelf on the bottom. Yeah, for sure. Just so you can store stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a good point. Tools or something. Great point. It'd be just like a wasted space. Good idea. Here. Is that working? Hopefully this isn't frozen because it's been in the sun. It's not working? It doesn't feel like there's any water in here, huh? I can hear it snapping. Hear it snapping? Yeah, see? There's still ice in it. All right, just so you have to do this later, okay? Yeah, look. You checking it out, Beauty? Yeah. What'd you guys decide? So I want to do like a shelving unit over here in this corner mm -hmm. to kind of store like just stuff that I need to store in here. Huh? And then from here over, and then this will be shelf bench, like the greenhouse bench. And then I don't know what I want on this side. I don't know how much room I want to stay on this side because I want to put a table here, a little table and chair. Did he tell you about his idea of shelves on the bottom yes. of these? Yes. Tables? Okay. And I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Soil blocks, soil. Yeah. Well then I guess maybe I don't need a shelf over there. If we're if we'll have that bottom shelf. I guess maybe just go all the way to the end then don't do the shelf here. Does that make sense? Go all the way? Yeah, just go all the way. Since we're gonna have that bottom shelf and I can store okay. all my stuff on that. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, we could see how far. Yeah. I'm not sure just if we we'll have enough. see how far you're going to go. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. We can see what we got. Okay. Looking good? Is this going as good as you hope, Jason? Yeah, it's going pretty quick. I just got to put maybe another one in the middle to give it, make it more sturdy. Okay. Pretty sturdy with those rough sawn two by fours, huh? Yeah, I like the rough because yeah. they're. Uh, that's, that's rough. <laughs> I have that in my head rough. now. I have that in my head now all the time. <laughs> I think about that. <laughs> no, because they're bigger, you know, yeah. than the other ones. That's the greenhouse vent. Is that it? That's it. That's it. Okay. Is that what you're looking for, Jason? Yeah. Yeah. There is one more, huh? Will Jason know what to do with this? This is what goes on the shutters. I was editing almost done and Gideon came and got me and told me the cows were out even stud enough. Okay, it's normal for the little calves to get, oh good, he's right there. He's actually not out, but it does look like uh, Phyllis is out. So I'll go get her. Thank you, thank you Gideon. Come on Miss Thing. Got Phyllis in, no problem. Rebecca's back. Salamanders. We got a lot more. Wow, that little too? Wow. Yeah, they won't bite. Make sure you put them back before you're done. That was a crazy cut measurement. Yeah, I'm trying to do it so that way I don't have to cut this this way. Yeah, yeah, that would be awkward. <laughs> so it just kind of sits underneath the vent. Nice. So yeah. Makes sense. You got us more Coco Loco? Yeah. Dropped off the chainsaw? Dropped off the chainsaw. Okay. Picked up. 
a ton of seeds. No, There's probably we, thousands of I dollars of produce in there. I got three seeds of, I got three packages of acorn, three packages of spaghetti squash, three packages of butternut big, squash, yeah. plus like three packages that the kids, so I yeah. let the kids pick out seeds, watermelon. Yeah, me and just that one. I like this alternative here. Like, this is our groceries. This is our grocery bag. Yeah. Right? It was $263. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's cheap considering this is going to be thousands, if not ten thousand dollars worth yeah. of seeds. And we won't have to go to town to get our groceries. Oh. We'll just go to the backyard. I cannot wait. That is super nice. The plastic goes yeah. butts up against this. Yeah. Because there's a little lip right here. Yeah. No, I think that's how it goes um. too. No, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. This is what I got. Is that you? You got something to go to it. I do. Yay! I that's it for your raised beds? This is for whatever. This is either for raised beds that's or gotta go out soon. for Sunday. I got celery. I got cilantro. Swiss chard, spinach, yeah. uh, cabbage, and... Well, when's your soil coming on your raised beds? That'll tell us. When that, when the truck driver gets back to me and okay. then I can send the check in and okay. then... Okay. What is it? Oh yeah, that's your timer, honey. It's at 16 seconds. When that gets to one, you move to the next elderberry, okay? Each elderberry, one minute. Boy, that's a lot. Why don't you go find our sprinkler? Okay. <laughs> okay, release it, Josiah. It's moving, it's moving. Yay! No, I got it blocked. We got our blueberries getting watered. That's an easy job, isn't it, Lily? One last check in on Jason. Oh! That is looking slick.